Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your man, Mike P. It's been a pretty wild 48, 72 hours between this whole Drake and, and Kendrick beef. We've gotten so many tracks to listen to and bump, and I really appreciate the love on this channel lately. We are soaring to 10,000 subscribers. I do appreciate the new fans, new watchers, the love. I, I really appreciate it. It's been really fun doing this. We have had some like elite streams, man. Yesterday was absolutely wild. We had easily the best. I, I, you know what? Two days before, I thought I had the best stream I've ever had yesterday just absolutely cracked out. We had a really fun time. I dropped a video yesterday kind of condensing our last stream and in it, we had a really extensive conversation with Daylight. I feel like it was a really important conversation pertaining to this matter that I kind of threw in the middle of the React channel and I kind of wanted to give it a spotlight. I spoke to Daylight. Daylight's the homie. Um, obviously, he's with TDE and very close to Kendrick. So I've got some really good insight from him and we had a pretty healthy, hilarious, real conversation just to pros talking rap and uh yeah here it is enjoy and uh i will probably see you in a couple minutes because i don't know what's going on anymore peace out i'm calling daylight right now i'm fucking calling daylight right now i'm about to throw up i'm telling daylight to tell him to stop please leave your message for eight one eight whoa 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 Hi, Devon Campbell. This is Michael Anthony Polisi, a former retired battle rapper and uh, competition on your way. Just calling you uh, to advise you that I'm calling the authorities. Uh, I'm not sure where Kendrick lives. I believe on Drake's last diss track, he said he was in New York. Uh, I used to live in New York, so I do know the number. I will have you and all of your friends arrested. Uh, please tell TDE Punch uh, to live up to his name and break Kendrick's jaw for all of us, please. Uh, this is unfair and uh, possibly illegal. Okay, Daylight, give me a call back, all right? Because I'm about to have a panic attack. Bye. Ooh, oh, God, here's Daylight. I'm calling the police. Is this 911? Well, this is technically the police. -y. All right. Um. So I want to report. There's a. Uh, there's a man shot in the middle of uh, Toronto. I think it's Church Street to be exact. Shot. He's bleeding profusely. Church Street. I okay. Just, All right. Uh, is there anybody? Is there anybody there that can? Uh, wait. Wait. I'm sorry. Calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. First of all, wait. Wait. There's a guy in the street and he has like a size seven. I understand, sir. I understand. Can you please tell me, is there anybody there that can apply pressure to the wound? Uh, I think organic or someone. Else. Or <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Please tell him, please tell him, get a t-shirt, wrap it around him. We're going to be there in about three hours. Okay. I don't, I don't think a t-shirt is going to work. His body is in, in half. His body is in half. Okay. Do you guys have a, a sewing needle? Is there a needle and thread? There's nothing. There's oh. only poutine. Uh, there's only poutine. Nah, this is, this is, this is, this is illegal. This is illegal. Okay. It's illegal. Do you understand me? Yo, you remember, you remember when Lux battled Cal that he did for fourth round afterwards? Oh <laughs> my. Right Yo, honestly, bro. <sighs> I can't even. I can't. I can't compare this to anything. Uh, this is this is the this is the wildest shit we've ever witnessed in the, in the hip hop in the in the universe of rap. You called me. You you literally called me in the middle of saying that that this is this is the greatest like anything ever in the history of fucking rap music. This these last like seventy two hours, bro. Kendrick is no. Uh, Kendrick is not fucking. Uh, Listen, he's not nice. I, I told you at the beginning of this shit. He's not done. I'm gonna tell you again. He's not done. He's not done. Still. He's not. No, baby. Done. Hey, baby. Go. Go with Cheyenne. You don't go. understand. Listen, Mike. This what the world doesn't understand. You know how they say battle rappers can't make music. Right. Right. They're lying. Kendrick is a battle rapper. He's mm. from, and he's clearly showing the music industry he's from the battle club. Yep. With triples and doubles and he's chain punching with the albums. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's doing everything everything plus just always being him, like the rapper that he already is. This is just I don't even 
I'm stressed. Dude, I've been stressed for, for the last, like, 24 hours, bro. This guy. He's not done. He's, he's not done, you said. Applying pressure for the rest of eternity. Dude, it's funny because, bro, like, people used to make fun of, like, things that you would say because they would say, like, trolling, trolling, trolling. When you told me yesterday that Kendrick still has more, for a split second in my head, I was like, no, he doesn't. I mean, how, how the fuck can you have more than this? Mike. OVO. Say OVO. Freaky ass. You a fan. You a fan. 6 9 God. 6 9 God. Mike, hear me out. Just just please listen to me. I got you. You know, there was a movie in the 90s called Candyman. Mm -hmm. And he didn't appear until you said his name multiple times. The streets kept saying, Kendrick, 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 come outside of Kendrick. Mm -hmm. He's here. He is here. And he's not leaving. I don't even know if, like, he is here. Like, he is everything. He he is, no, he is. No. Kendrick, take the microphone to his mouth and Pro Tools on his back. Anything Drake says, he's going to reply immediately. Yeah, he he had he had responses to to last night's track. He had responses to Family Matters, bro. He said, "You rap like you want to free the slaves." This whole third verse was a rebuttal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole third verse. Oh yeah, I am going to free the slaves. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Hey, Bruh. I'm not gonna lie. Drizzy, my man, hundred grand. It's crazy that you have and like it's crazy that Drizzy has access to so many battle rappers and haven't reached out to anybody for any assistance. Right. Right. He need to call A Ward and Chef Trez. <laughs> to call A Ward and Chef Trez. That's crazy. Chef Trez and Bangs. He needs to he needs to call A Jesus, bro. He needs to call <laughs> Jesus. He might need Jesus right now. I don't know what there's no coming back from this, bro. No, it's not. If he doesn't respond not. like 15 minutes ago, it's over. No, you can't. No, no, you're not, you're not understanding. Kendrick just put Drake in one of the greatest chess pieces, like checkmate moments ever. Mm -hmm. He can't. He, you got to think. He has to reply to to what the they're track. Yep. And he has to make a a bouncy track, which people can mm -hmm. say. We don't want to hear a bouncing track because you got to reply to Graham. Right, but now here's the kick. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Right, he has to reply to material that he does not want to talk about. I think that's. I think that's the biggest thing too. There, there are things like Kendrick is responding to what Drake is saying, and now this is where Drake has to respond to everything that Kendrick has said in the last two songs. And the last two songs have been pretty scathing as far as the material. So. It's like you either shut up, you take the L, or you try to defend yourself and you either make yourself look worse or you still take a loss and it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Mike, you know like I know. Allegations are one thing. Right. Defending allegations, you lost. Yes. You, you, you yep. know this in the battle world. Right. If somebody says something about you, just keep walking. Yep. Because yep. the moment you be like, I didn't, the biggest mistakes I've ever made was was answering any fucking <laughs> stupid thing anyone ever said about me. The second you fucking answer, it's like boom. You yeah, yep. You cut yep. fucked. The moment yeah. you say I didn't do it, that opens up Pandora's box for everybody to chime in. Like yes, you did. Yes, you did. I know you did. Right, 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 right. And there's more. There, there's less people. If you're silent, there's less people saying that you're silent than there will be people saying that you're talking if you decide to, to talk. Because the culture wants to go back and forth with you. So, he, bro, he's in it. He can't make a. He, I'm not saying he can't make a hit. I ain't gonna lie. Like when when the Kendrick shit first came on, did you not want to dance a little bit? Be honest. Uh, I I've, I've been <laughs> dancing, dude. I've been live for fifty minutes. I've been I've literally been dancing, and I almost crip walked. I swear but I'm God. too popular of a battle rapper to do that, and I will get beat up. So hey, listen. I want to crip walk so bad. I think I'll do it when I shut the stream off. When the beat came on, you know how like when in Grand Theft Auto, like when you just randomly change your weapon is like another weapon like yeah, 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 yeah. My, my body changed back into summer madness three daylight like i had on the bed mm, yep immediately yeah yeah i want to hurt somebody I, I, 
So, like, what is this? Like, does Drake, like, you just, like, what's your suggestion? Just lay down, right? Hey, listen. Lay down? I, I'm not going to lie. This whole time, I've been sitting here thinking, what can Drake do? Right. Because, like, again, Drake is our boy. Like, battle rap world, he's our boy. I love Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For us. Of course. He's, you know, he's, he's put bread in our pocket. Yeah, 100%. Um, on Stony Vince, he showed the world, the public world, that he fucked with our culture. Right. So he's going to forever be our guy from that standpoint. Yeah. Um, as far as what he can do now, there's only one thing, and this is something that I tell every single rapper, even in the battle rap universe. You gotta die on your pen, man. It's hip hop. Right. So you just keep going. Keep going. You just gotta die on your pen, man. Like at the end of the day, you're gonna either die looking goofy mm -hmm. or you gonna go out with like on some Le Leonidas three hundred spark shit. Like I know I can't kill you. Right. I just gotta make you bleed, man. Right, which is like it's crazy because it's like it seems like he's doing that, but Kendrick won't stop. Like, it's like it's like dying on your sword and then your enemy keeps cutting you like you're dead you're on the floor and he's still stomping on you and it's like bro i already fought as much as i could fight remember that you remember the scene at the end of like what was that uh, avengers one where hulk kept slamming loki when loki's like i'm a god right and hulk just slammed the shit out of him like zillions of times yeah that's what it looks like yeah, man. I, I mean, dude, and you don't, you don't get, you don't get better than um, what, what's it called? What, uh, Family Matters. Like, I don't see yeah, I Drake it. topping Family Matters. I got, I got, I got it. I know what he has to do. I got it. Okay. All right. Tell Drake us. Drake has to drop a song that's twenty four hours. Like the actual <laughs> song is twenty four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> Just get people so fucking bored that they just have to fucking like. Like he has to drop a song that's twenty four hours. He has to drop a song so long that nobody could talk about Kendrick. In the song, it has interludes like, "Hey, at this part, you guys can get up and go get some water and take a break. I'll be right here. I'll be right here when you guys get back. Hey, I'll see you over here in the kitchen. Uh, you know, microwaves got like it, it. It literally has to be a sitcom record. Like yeah." Like and a sitcom it, record that talks in third person and fourth person, and like it, he has to drop something that doesn't even make sense, <laughs> dude. Like right now, like tomorrow morning, if you wake up and go, they like Drake just dropped, and you go to the song and look at the time, and it says twenty four hours. <laughs> I think you got it, bro. I think you nailed it. That that's what he has to. <laughs> He has to do a song that is so long that you can only focus on him for at least a day. And then maybe, maybe there's hope that you forget that Kendrick Lamar exists you in this 24 hours. Go to work and shit, so niggas going to be like, I'm going to get back to that Drake shit when I get off work. Like, <laughs> yeah, you have to do, <laughs> it takes two weeks, bro. You need to work a whole fucking two weeks just to get to Drake. Yeah. Wow, dude. Oh, God, man. That's the only hope. That's the only hope. And the song got to start off with, like, all right, this would happen when I was one years old. Let's start from there. <laughs> He's got to rap from one to 37. He has one to rap to every year of his life. life. Everything that ever happened in his entire life. My God, man. I That's just, it. I, yeah. I mean, we have the, it's like, it's, it's wild. Cause we just had this conversation yesterday and I, and I thought it was it. I thought it was over. I thought, I thought it was over. It's not, I know you told me it's just. This shit is pro. This nigga died as Pearl Harbor jigsaw. <laughs> Pearl Harbor jigsaw. <laughs> Yo. Uh. He has. He's going to fire. If, if Drake drops right now, he's going to fire minutes after. So he's got, he's got multiple no, clips. Listen. Not multiple. Unlimited. You got to understand, he's not a Build-A-Bear rapper. He's a, a real rapper. Mm -hmm. As BET Cypher told people, any one of y'all, I'm loaded. So this, this is the thing. The moment anybody says something, like if, if Drake says something today, Kendrick can go to the studio within 30 minutes and be done. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, he just showed it. He just showed it. Family it. Matters comes out, and this whole song, Not Like Us, is damn near like half of a rebuttal to Family Matters, and that shit oh, just fucking went this down. Nigga got, 
this nigga used the album cover of this nigga house with the people inside it today. Dude. That's from today. So he must have called the army. It was like, we need a, a, a spy plane. Wait, to fly over wait. House. Are you that's serious? Today. That's today with the people sitting in the house right now. No fucking way, Daylight. Does anybody even know that? Or are you just breaking that to me right no, now? That, I, that's officially a screenshot from today. Clip that right now. Somebody clip this. In the house right now. I'm calling the police. <laughs> I have this man. Put this man in jail, bro. I'm, I'm, I just I'm, said. I'm, I said, yo, punch. Punch needs to live up to his name. He needs to punch Kendrick Lamar and put a stop to this, bro. Now somebody got to stop this shit. Don't want to fuck this shit. Look, what's the dude name from Rock? Adrian. Adrian. Somebody. Somebody got thrown the fucking towel. Yo, what the? He doesn't, daylight, daylight, how can you throw in a towel with no arms, daylight? Drake doesn't have limbs, daylight. He has to, he has to bite the towel with his teeth and throw his fucking face. This is spooky, Mike. This, actually, this is, this is. This is different spooky. than spooky, man. The line, the army, the army is up. I go yeah, man, I appreciate your time as always. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bro.